Hi, in this video tutorial we're going to look at doing some basic validation using if statements in a secret number game. Now we've been building this secret number game in some other videos and uh, other videos demonstrate how we create and generate a secret number or a random number between 1 and 10 and we're getting a guess from the user and we're using if else if statements to check to see whether it's too low, too high, or whether it's a match. So, so far the program will display the random number. It's going to get a guess from the user and then tell them if it's too high or too low or if they got it. So right now this program won't loop. We'll be looking at that in a future video. But what you can see from here is that if the user doesn't put in a number, then that could be a problem in trying to play the game. So we want to validate or check to make sure that the information that they're putting in is a match for the type of data that we're looking for. So if I run this again and I put in something that is not a number and press enter, it's really checking the ASCII value of character that's being put in. So one first line of defense that we can use when we are trying to check and make sure or push the user to enter correct information is when we're using CIN, we can put in an if statement and it looks like this. It looks a little weird at first, but we basically say if not CIN, yes. And we can get rid of that semicolon and we're going to put in some curly braces here. Now what this is equating to is, okay, well you know what C in guess is. This is going to get the keyboard information from the user and assign it to guess. So if not, the exclamation point is not, guess has been set up to be an integer. So right on the line right before it, we, we see that it's set up as an integer. So if the value that's coming in from the keyboard at CN is not an integer value, then we can do some output here. So I'm just going to put in a couple of statements here. We'll do a, a C out statement to tell the user it's got to be between 1 and 10 and that we're ending the game. And then return 0 is going to end the program, so it's not going to even come down here and do anything else. It's just going to end the program just like we do here with return zero. So now if I run this and I enter something that is not a number and then we can see that it did run this if and check this condition and it did meet this condition. It was not an integer and so it ended the game. And so while we're at it, let's do some other checking, right? We want a number that is between 1 and 10. So since guess is an integer and it's going to be between 1 and 10, another thing we can do is we can say it's got to be a positive number. So we can do that by saying that guess is unsigned. Unsigned is going to make sure that it's a positive number. So now if I run it, and instead of putting in a letter, I'll put in a negative number. Let's say we get the message, must be between 1 and 10, ending game. And next we can do some more if statements. We can say if guess is greater than 10, and then we could do the same thing right here. We can say must be between 1 and 10 and we'll do a quick end to the game. So now if I run that and we put in something that is more than 10, then our if condition check is kicking it out and giving a message to the user. So now we're able to check and make sure that it is a number. And by making this unsigned, we're making sure it's a positive number. 
And then with this if statement here, we're able to check and make sure that it's not more than 10. So that keeps our validation in between the values of 1 and 10.